Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Thousands of Floridians, 30,000 or more, have contacted the lawyers suing the state over its failed unemployment system. In their efforts to get a judge to take over the system, they invoke the governor's own words. Governor DeSantis said it best. This is a clunker, and he said publicly that he thought that the system was designed to fail from the beginning. And while Judge John Cooper said he was clearly unhappy with the way unemployment benefits were being handled, he told lawyers it was out of his hands. I can't tell the governor what to do most of the time. And he went one step further. If you see something that you think is wrong, then you vote out that person or that legislator, that city council person. But the judge also didn't kill the lawsuit behind the request for emergency action to take over the department. The case is not over. I haven't dismissed the case. And while the lawsuit has just a handful of clients right now, it's expected to turn into a very large class action suit. The body of the suit seeks damages from the main contractor who built the problem-laden system in 2013. Uh, I'm comfortable telling your honor that there's at least 50,000 and I think it's more. The ruling does mean that for people still waiting for a check, they'll now have to rely on an overwhelmed department. The lawyers say the lawsuit's going to take a year or longer to play out in the courts. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.